The long-awaited report from the FIA on the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix was finally released on Saturday the 19th, just before the opening race of the 2022 season. The report has been three months in the making, but did you think Lewis Hamilton would be awarded the 2021 season title? Before the report was even published, the sentiment in the paddock was that it was a chapter in Formula 1 history that needed closing. But what does the report actually say, and who are the biggest winners from the inquest? Stick with us to find out. The FIA announced in the days after the controversial title decider between Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton that it would be launching a full investigation, which has taken place over the last three months. Following a meeting of the FIA World Motorsport Council on Saturday, the FIA released an executive summary of the report, detailing what happened in Abu Dhabi and offering recommendations. The executive summary report is not the full investigation, just the parts the FIA wanted to release to the world. It's a seven-page document that's available to anyone who wants to read it, and it's an interesting read if you have the time. In the document that was released, Formula One's governing body said human error lay behind Massey's failure to let all cars unlap themselves following the deployment of the safety car, having come under immense pressure from distracting radio exchanges from Mercedes and Red Bull. The distracting messages in question were televised around the world at the time, with both teams placing pressure on the racing director to make a decision that would favor them. Mercedes were pushing for the race to finish behind the safety car, while Red Bull were arguing that the race could be finished under normal racing conditions. The pressure of the situation is what led Michael Massey to making the decision he did. The FIA pointed to a misunderstanding of safety car protocol by now former race director Michael Massey as the reason that only five lapped runners were allowed to pass the safety car ahead of the final lap of the race in December. They've also been quoted as saying that human error was the root cause of the controversy, but insisted the 44-year-old acted in good faith. It also tried to take some of the blame away from Massey by saying that his decision likely took into account previous discussions that made clear the F1 stakeholders' preference to end races under green flag racing conditions, rather than behind a safety car when safe to do so. Obviously, with a world title on the line like there was in Abu Dhabi, human error cannot be allowed to have an effect on the outcome of the race. To avoid the issues surrounding the lapped cars protocol happening again, the report outlined a new system to track lapped cars. The process of identifying lapped cars has up until now been a manual one, and human error led to the fact that not all the cars were allowed to unlap themselves. Due to the fact that manual interventions generally carry a higher risk of human error, software has been developed that will, from now on, automate the communication of the list of cars that must unlap themselves. In addition, the 2022 Formula 1 sporting regulations have been recently updated to clarify that all and not any cars must be permitted to unlap themselves. This is clearly a step in the right direction. With the technology available to sports now, the amount of manual human work done in regards to managing a race should be minimized, so as to avoid any grey areas or human error. If you watch cricket or football or tennis, you will already be aware of the impact that technology can have on the governance of the sport. Hopefully, by bringing more technology into the management of Formula 1 races, these mistakes can be avoided in the future. While the FIA are taking steps to try and avoid a repeat of the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix in the future, and we will cover more of those steps later in the video, Ben Saleem also explained the negotiations remain ongoing to find a suitable role for Massey. We wanted to take the pressure and the stress from him, because he really went through a lot. We are grateful for the three years that he invested with us, and he put his time in. But now, we're negotiating with him to stay in the FIA. He's an important figure to us. Our people are negotiating another, I would not say job, but another place for him within the FIA. The FIA are obviously keen to avoid getting rid of Michael Massey. Doing so after what happened in Abu Dhabi would be throwing him under the bus, and that isn't a great look for the FIA or Formula 1. It would also put an incredible amount of pressure on the team coming in to replace Michael Massey. Instead, moving him to another part of the FIA puts him out of the spotlight, and if they decide it is best he is let go, then they can do so in the future when this storm has passed. Before we talk about the changes to F1 rules that were outlined in the report, if you've enjoyed this video so far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest news from F1 Reverse. 
Going back to what else the FIA is going to do to avoid this happening again in the future. They confirmed a number of measures that have been taken to avoid the same errors happening again. These include the establishment of a remote operations center at the FIA headquarters in Geneva to assist race control in the manner of football's video assistant referee, an extended team in race control to run trackside operations, Direct communications from teams to the race director will be removed to protect the race director from any pressure and allow him to make decisions peacefully. Unlapping procedures behind the safety car will be reassessed. A new race management team of two race directors, Niels Wittich and Eduardo Fritas, they will take turns as the race director and be assisted by former deputy race director Herbie Blash, who has returned to the FIA employment after retiring in 2016 to assist in race control as a permanent senior advisor. Some of these steps we already knew about, but it's great to see them in writing from the FIA. It shows that the sport is learning from its mistakes, and hopefully evolving to contain a more robust race management system that will keep the drama on the racetrack. For many fans, the worst part of the controversial decisions made during the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix was that they resulted in Lewis Hamilton failing to win his 8th World Championship title. The British race driver originally struggled to come to terms with what happened during the race, but it seems like many on the grid, he too is moving on. When asked in Bahrain about his thoughts on the report, he said, I haven't seen it. I saw it had come out, but I've not read it. I've been focused on getting the job done. I'll read it maybe after the weekend or something like that. I wasn't expecting your apology. We knew that probably wasn't going to happen, and at least there's that transparency that it is human error. We can't go back and change the past. I look forward to focusing on the future and getting this car in the right window. We have a bit of work to do. Ben Saleam expressed the feelings of the whole grid in his closing statement. Now we want to move on, and that we have finished with the race in Abu Dhabi with the analysis, he said. It's the beginning of the 2022 championship. With all the new cars and all the new excitements, I think we should enjoy it and leave that behind us and make sure we have a good new year. Michael Massey's time as race director is over, and that's for the best. If he had been around to oversee another year of F1 racing, then this controversy would have just dragged on further. F1 may have just brushed him under the rug for now, but that's okay. Out of sight, out of mind is a phrase that fits his role change perfectly. We all make human errors at work. It's a part of being human. But in this case, that error is too big to be forgotten. Now that he's gone and the report is published, the sport can move on and enjoy what is going to be one of the most exciting seasons in F1 history. Do you think the FIA have done enough to restore faith in how races are managed? Should the repercussions for Michael Massey have been even greater? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And on your way out of our pit box, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that notification bell to be sure you don't miss out on any of our content. Till we see you next time, drive safe and bye bye.